Now, when most people they start playing MMOs like the World of Warcraft, they usually tend to using the, you know, the number keys at the top of their keyboard because that is the way that it's designed as default when you haven't done anything. And some people at some point want to move on from using the number keys and they start using their keyboard, their entire keyboard to hotkey the different spells on their entire keyboard. If you want to maintain the mobility that you have using the QWEASD button so you can move around your character like this without having to use the mouse, uh, at some point you might want to get yourself what is called an MMO mouse which has 12 buttons inside and makes it a lot easier when it comes to using spells without having to use your keyboard for anything besides movement. So what I wanted to do in this video here is just kind of show off how I decided to set up my MMO mouse in order to make not just 12 buttons but 36 different buttons I can use using my mouse. So we have 12 buttons on the side of the mouse and what you can do is you'll actually notice that I'm using a add-on called Bartender which allow for me to set up different spells at the bottom of my screen in a different way than Blizzard intended to. So what I can do here is I can actually go ahead and say that okay I have this barn number one at the center here that I'm going to be using when I just click the, the buttons on the side of my mouse. So all my main offensive spells and some of the offensive cooldowns that I have go on this side of my uh, inside this bar number one. So if I want to, I can just walk up to my target and start blasting away at, you know, the spells that I have there. But what if I want to do something else? Because we have more than 12 spells that we want to use. So what I decided to do is I also went into my settings if you go in under key bindings, go down to bartender four, which is right now what bartender is called. You can see that I have bar number one set up to the buttons on my mouse here. But when I want to switch over to bar number two, which is this other column over here, I have to hold down shift and then click the same buttons on the side of my mouse. Then I want to go to the bar number three over here on the right side. Then I just hold down control and then one of the, you know, the numbers on the side of my mouse. So what I can basically do here is if I want to use my main offensive spells, I can walk up and start hitting something. But if I want to use some of my defensive cooldowns, which I've placed over here using shift button, I can hold down shift and then use the same buttons and start using a different set of spells. Uh, in a very easy and fast sort of way. So you can see I'm blasting off defensive cooldowns and then I switch back to offensive just by using my mouse buttons and holding down or releasing shift on my keyboard. And again, if I want to do utilities, which I have over here on the right side, I can do that by holding down control and clicking my mouse button. So it's quite easy to do that sort of way. It is a very recommendable way to set up your mouse. Once you've done it this way, you will never be able to go back from you know, having an MMO and, and blah, 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 blah. you will never be able to go back from having a MMO mouse and you will never be able to use your keyboard again for your spells. Uh, you're pretty much going to be relying on this mouse here because, you know, once you've had it easy, it's hard to go back to having it difficult by using a keyboard. With that said, uh, you'll also notice that I have a couple of spells on the side here. These are some of my major cooldowns that I want to keep track of. So you'll actually see that some of these spells I do actually have in here. Uh, to just sort of, you know, being able to see it at the corner of my eye so I don't have to look down at the tiny spells. Uh, but in some cases, I also want to be able to access, you know, specific spells like stuns or slows or if I'm a death knight, pull people into me by just having to click something on my keyboard really fast. So what I've done here is I've actually taken my stun spells, set it up over here, and when I clicked shift or hold down shift and then click R, I then stun. So using a combination of shift and control and then R and T, I'm using different spells depending on what I want to do. So if I want to do shift T, I'm slowing my opponent. If I want to release myself from movement, you know, impairing effects, I just click R without really... <laughs> I'm mumbling a lot today. I just click R without having to do anything else. So um, I do also have my interrupt button set up in a very special sort of way, which I, I, I feel like is worth sharing because it's a very easy to get to a combination of keys. So if I hold down shift and then click space, I interrupt using my interrupt spell, which is something almost all classes have. I think all classes have an interrupt spell. Um, and the reason that that is an easy way to do things is because when you sit with your left hand on your keyboard, you have your three fingers on QWE, you know, in order to move around. Um, then you use your pinky on your shift button pretty much all the time. I would say at least when you use the button in this sort of way on, my, on, the, on the mouse that I just showed you, you will be having your pinky on shift pretty much constantly. And you just have your thumb on the space bar constantly. So shift and space, you always have a, a, 
a finger on. So you can just really quickly, you know, run up and interrupt something using that without having to worry about these spells down here. So that's basically how I set up my MMO mouse. It's a very simple way. I just want to mention as well that I do have some uh, add-ons that I'm using right now. As you can see, I'm using Bartender. Uh, I will write the name of the add-on in the description. Um, then you can just sort of look it up on, you know, where you get add-ons. I'm also gonna go ahead and leave a name for the sexy map I'm using up here. Th that is the name of it, by the way. I didn't just call my map sexy. This is called sexy map. Um, and I do also have a different nameplate, which I constantly get asked about. So I will also go ahead and leave the name for that one there. Um, just in general, you know, some of the things that I found interesting to have as an add-on to simplify life. I'll go ahead and leave that in the description there. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.